This simulation has been designed to give students the ability to increase the number of materials and locations where they can do the force gravity on the bucket lab. The way this lab works out is students will take a bucket that is graduated in 250 milliliter increments. They will fill the buckets to various levels. They will attach the bucket via string to a vernier force probe. They will measure how much force there is on the bucket at different volume levels for the fluid or material that they are placing in the bucket. Students will then create a graph of the force versus the volume and they will be able to then use that graph to figure out the density of the material placed in the bucket as well as the mass of the bucket. What this simulation is designed to do is allow students to do materials or locations they would not be able to do in class. So students can work with fresh water, which obviously is easy to do live, sand, mercury, which they obviously could not work with in a classroom, gasoline, maple syrup, or crude oil. Students can conduct the experiment on Earth, the Moon, Mars, Venus, Jupiter, or Vesta. So students would then reset their system try to pause it when they get to a gradation that they want, maybe 250 milliliters. They then click on the force probe and it will give them the reading of the force probe at that specific spot. Just like a real force probe, there is going to be some variation as time goes on, so students should carefully watch it and give a best estimate for the force on the bucket. Students then click on the uh, reading and it will take us back to this screen. They would then resume it, stop it at a new location, click on the force probe, and again, observe it for a few seconds and write down their value. Hopefully this is enough overview for you to understand how this simulation will be used along with the force gravity bucket lab.